Tessa with Premier Guitar here at Summer NAM. I'm here with Andy Elliott. He's a guitar luthier that's going to show us his newest creation. How are you doing? Great. Uh, what are you? What were you playing just now? This is a new guitar we just come out with. It's called the 357. It's a really unique guitar. It's kind of made off, inspired by a Mustang, but we made it a full scale and made the body larger and put the contours in it. It's very comfortable play. And then we've got two gold foil pickups, which are really unique because they are actually gold foil pickups. They're not just made to look like gold foil pickups. They're uh, just really cool sounding pickups. Very useful in day-to-day -day gigging. So you also, um, you were the luthier of the Peter Stroud signature, right? Yeah. Um, Elliot Guitars is known for the Peter Stroud signature and uh, it's a great guitar and still our best seller ever. And, uh, we've got an ET series we've got here at the show that's got our Tellywagger pickups. Sounds incredible. So are you going for the gold foil on a lot of your new models? Yeah, I've just always loved gold foils, but they're so unstable in a lot of the older guitars, and you have a lot of feedback issues, and I've just found a way to really get it down to where they're useful on stage at loud volumes, and without having all the issues that come along with them and they just sound incredible. They've just got tone that a lot of other pickups just don't have. I've noticed on this one it sounded like you had some really good low end when you were playing. Cool thing is is they actually sound like a really great humbucker and a really great single coil all in one, but they're true single coil pickups but like It's got the low and it's got the chime too. It's just Tell us what it's made out of because it looks really unique. Um, well, it's this is a cover. The oh, the body is alder, and uh, this is just our paint scheme that we do. Peter Stroud actually helped me come up with this paint scheme. He was wanting something 50s and early 60s, uh, kind of muscle car back in the old late 50s era trying to make it vintage but retro and cool you know and uh, it's got the acrylic pick guard which is hand painted underneath and uh, you know it's so are you all a hand a yeah, handmade make job? our own bridges yeah. make our own saddles pickups everything but the pots and the toggle switch and how many guitars do you do a year probably about 60 a year right now just you or how many men do you got in your shop you and got another guy that helps part-time so is this guitar available right now? Yes, we've got a, a limited quantity of them this year because of parts. We're trying to get parts for the pickups. We're having a hard time, but uh, we're uh, hopefully it'll be in full production next year. But we got about three or four out of the ten left. If anybody wants one, they better jump. <laughs> what, is, what are the pricings on this one? Uh, this guitar will be about forty-seven hundred dollars. Right. Where can people find out more information about you? Elliot Guitars NC. Dot com. Right, well, thank you so much, Andy, for showing us your new guitar. Thanks. This is Tessa Jeffers for Premier Guitar.